Hi, good morning friends. Welcome to my class. Today we will be seeing about the last uh, subheading of uh, introduction unit. In our previous classes we have seen about the topic that is uh, national nutrition policy. Today we will look one more uh, factor that is factor affecting on food and nutrition. Factors which are affecting selection of food and nutrition. Okay. In a, while selecting the food stuff, or while selecting the food item, individual difference is there. Even though we are being in a same family, individual preference of food selection is different. Which are the factors will be affecting for those selection? We will be see here. We are uh, classifying mainly ten. Factors will be affecting for this food selection. First one is age, second one gender, third one personal preference, fourth one education, fifth one economical status, sixth one ethical and cultural consideration, seventh one religious practices, eighth one food availability, ninth one government policies, transportation system and technology adaptation, last one other factors. These are the main 10 factors will be affecting for the selection of food stuff. Yes, we will be start with one by one. First factor, age. If you are taking the growth and development of children from uh, newborn to old age, several anatomical and physiological changes will be taken plus and even psychological changes will be taken place. Regarding the newborn, at the birth of the baby, the stomach size for uh, receiving the food stuff is 30 to 60 ml. If you are taking for the adult, it will be more than 1 liter of food content it will be stored and even though it is uh, expand more than that, it is how the anatomical changes will be taken place. And uh, in newborn, will be begins the dietary pattern in the form of liquid followed by semi-solid, then solid form. Adult can be utilized in, even though solid plus any hard part of food particles also. Okay. And along with this, food choice if you are taking, adolescent can be consuming any type of food stuff and uh, in middle age period, especially about 30 years, the person will be looking for the looking consideration of health aspect. He will be more con concerned about his health, which type of food we have to consume to be healthy, especially um, fatty diet they are going to avoid to prevent the coronary heart diseases, even the hypertension, diabetes, and And if you are taking for the old age, all the sensory organs are lost because of this purpose we have to serve in the food stuff in the nature of attractive and somewhat tasty in nature. This is how the age factor will be affecting on food choice and preference. And uh, next one, gender. There is a sex design between the male and female while selecting the food stuff. Usually females are more concerned about their body weight and even though their figure and um, personality. They are almost all avoiding all the oily foods and even though they will be reduce the amount of consuming food stuff to be a lean body and uh, they are more concerned about their BMI. Yes? And uh, for that reason most of the time they will be reduced the food item and uh, gradually they will be develop a deficiency symptoms like anemia and other micronutrient deficiencies. But if you are taking for the male, those are more active to receive the all variety of food stuff and even though they are more accepting the bodybuilding food stuff like uh, non-veg, milk, egg and uh, chicken, mutton, fish to increase their body weight and being a free man. Okay? This is how the gender will be affect for food selection and choice. And next one, 
personal preference. Individual preference would be default. It is based on the primary based on the taste reissued by individual. Uh, how the taste of the food is there, that is also affecting and their previous experience about the food stuff and uh, their uh, genetical um, genetics also play vital role for this. If you are taking the USA and uh, some Western countries, on an average 30 to 50 percent will be called it as a super tester. They are totally depending dependent on unique type of food stuff which is more testable for them. Okay. For an Indian, there is no like that super tester. We will be accept every, every type of food stuff. There is no restriction. And uh, even though uh, attractiveness of food stuff is also affecting over the preference. And uh, all these will be affect for the food selection and choice regarding personal preference and food choice. And next one, education. Education is also play a vital role for uh, food selection and consumption. If the person is well educated, he well known about the basic knowledge about nutrition and we, he can be decide well about the which type of food we have to consume, which type of food we have to avoid. And even though he is well concerned about the nutrient present in a food stuff and he is well known about the uh, reading and understanding the food packet label or uh, regarding information label information he can be understand and what are the content of food packet is being and along with that he is well known about the which nutrient is harmful to health and which nutrient is good for his health condition this is how the education will be affecting for food and nutrition. And fifth one, economical status. Economical status is also a play a vital role, but regardless of uh, richness and poorness, their intention to purchase the quality food, it is also an important thing here. If the poor persons are there, they usually unable to purchase the costly food items and rich persons are there, they can be purchased, costly items and uh, they can prepare a well balanced diet. And uh, one more thing, if the poor is unable to purchase the thing, usually they will be dependent on the monotonous diet. Monotonous diet means it is the only one food stuff that regularly they are going to consume from uh, early morning to bed time. Early morning bre breakfast is also a rice item. Uh, lunch, uh, that is a lunch item is also rice item. And lastly, dinner. Dinner is also a rice item. Totally it is uh, dependent on monotone, single variety of food stuff. It usually leads to malnutrition. There is no, this type of food, food consumption will, cannot be called as a balanced diet. Right? It will be leads to malnutrition. And uh, after this, and even though if they are being a full army, they will be consumed miserly. Miserly means less amount of food stuff they are going to consume because they have, have the intensity to save their money. This is about economical status, how it will be affect on food and nutrition. And sixth one, intensity and culture. Every culture will be have its own uh, pattern of living, even the own pattern of dietary pattern. That uh, culture will be controlling their dietary pattern. Every culture, like if you are taking Western culture and uh, Indian culture, Chinese culture, and the Japanese culture, their culture and preference to the food item, there is a lot of difference. Usually Western culture will be dependent on non-vegetarian food stuff. Chinese is also non-vegetarian with some insect and worms. And, but Indians will be more uh, 
dependent on the vegetable food stuff <coughs> this is how the cultural beliefs and cultural regulation will be control the food and nutrition selection and the uh, seventh one religious factor religious practices here as like culture there is a religion religion wise there is a variation in the selection of food stuff if you are taking for the muslim almost all they will be avoid the food if you are taking for the indian or hindu they will be almost all avoid the non vegetarian vegetable food stuff if you are taking for the <coughs> western and uh, other countries they are more preference to the non vegetarian vegetable food stuff along with fatty food stuff okay this is how the religion will be affecting on food selection and choice and the uh, eighth one food availability availability of local food is more affecting on the food selection almost all every individual even though they will be export or import the uh, abroad food product they are not dependent on those food stuff because locally available food stuff is easily available even though economical in condition they can be easily prepare the food stuff and save the money and uh, that is suitable for their atmosphere even though they are anatomical purpose that's why local available food stuff is they are giving preference that local available food stuff act as a staple food for them if you are taking for the karnataka within karnataka bijapur uh, people will be usually prefer the wheat and the wheat and uh, if you are taking for the uh, hasan and uh, karwa they are mainly dependent on rice or rice those food stuff will be called as a staple food for them okay this is how food availability for them and uh, next one ninth one government policies and transportation and technology how the government has developed uh, some policies related to distribution of food stuff and available make availability of food stuff if you are taking government policy regarding distribution of the, uh, cheaper food stuff in a uh, ration shop with the help of bpl card they are distributing a 1 kg rice for 1 rupees as uh, being in a karnataka and they want to they are uh, giving us some other basic uh, food stuff like uh, cereals fall fruits and along with that uh, sugar oily uh, oily things they are distributing to the low prices because government has done some policies and uh, regarding transportation it is a play vital role even the government uh, having a policy there is a distribution of food from uh, production side to ferry ferals if the rice is available in uh, more in hasan we have to distribute it in for other concern area about karnataka if the transportation facilities is good it will be distributed all over the karnataka and everyone will be get a same rice there is no problem for distribution and technology adaptation here government has to provide some preservative technique to store the food stuff even though some cold storage some um, godamanas and uh, some other pantries to preserve the food stuff like cereals and pulses for prolonged duration without loss without wastage this is how government policy transportation and technology helping last one other factors here other factors will be usually considering it as a beliefs about the food stuff a local beliefs uh, if you are taking consumption of papaya in during the pregnancy will be harmful this is a bad belief but actually they will be avoid the papaya consumption and uh, next one psychological factors there is a advertisement for process will be more influencing nowadays if you are taking new nutritional products like uh, 
lactodex and the protein product like uh, boost is the secret of my energy like this advertise will be motivate the children and other persons to receive the food sir and uh, along that lifestyle which lifestyle they are adopting uh, whether modern uh, modernized lifestyle they are adopting or uh, ancient uh, lifestyle they are adopting based on that also food choice is depending and next one health condition of the individual if the person is suffering with an uh, diabetic and hypertension almost all they will be avoid fatty diet and salt containing diet even though high sugar diet okay and uh, if the person is uh, suffering with alcohol consumption sorry uh, excessive with the alcohol consumption they will be having uh, always deficiency symptoms micronutrient deficiency is more common among alcohol person and uh, after this that the uh, yes this is how they are going to facing the other factors lifestyle uh, belief support the food stuff and alcohol consumption the advertisement psychological factors and uh, health and disease conditions okay and uh, medical history about the person and uh, this is how totally affecting some of the um, some of the factors affecting on food sir totally one more time will be briefly conclude the thing factor affecting on food and nutrition first factor is age second factor gender third factor personal preference fourth one education fifth one economical status sixth one ethnicity and culture seventh one religious practices eighth one food availability Ninth one, government policy, transportation and technology. Tenth one, other factors. Other factors. By this we will be complete the class. Bye. Thank you. Thank you so much.